The school year is upon us. It is time for you to become unstoppable this school year. And when I talk about unstoppable, what I mean is nothing is going to get in your way. You have some goals. You have some aspirations. You know what you want to achieve as the school year is going to start. How can you become unstoppable? So therefore you can achieve everything that you want this upcoming year. In this video, what I want to go is go through some tips that I think can help you put some things in perspective. So therefore you can achieve everything you want and nothing is going to get in your way. So unstoppable student where people are like, man, nothing just gets in your way. You were just, I can't slow you down. It doesn't matter whatever failure or objections happen to you. Just keep on going. What is it with you? What makes you tick? Well, in my opinion, to become unstoppable, the first thing you have to do is make connections. All right. If you're starting a new school or maybe just even in your new class, there's going to be new people around you. Meet those people, find out who they are, get their information. So therefore you can connect with them. When I was in college, I think one of the most important things that I remember my professor saying is look to your left, look to your right, introduce yourself and get those people's information. And guess what? When I went through my upper level mathematics courses and I started to struggle, the people that I randomly sat next to in that beginning couple of days of classes, those are the people that I had study group that I was able to chat with and, hey, I'm having trouble with this. So make sure you don't feel like you have to do this all alone. There's that African proverb, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go with others. And it's so important to feel you're not alone when you're going to have struggles or you maybe let's say you miss some classes or anything else you need people to connect with. And I think it's so important that a lot of times we don't think it's like important. We're like, oh, I'm just going to do this on my own. It's much faster if I just go ahead and do it or, you know, I don't want to in, in insert myself into people already talking or already looks like they're doing their homework, but just make sure that you step out maybe a little bit out of your comfort zone. And because I think it's really, really powerful to have a strong connection with others that you can rely on. And again, they're going to help you give you a better perspective of the math or learning whatever topics you're learning. And it, it just gives you that support system that I think is going to be critically important. Number two, if you're going to become a stop tool, you have to understand there's going to be struggles. There's going to be failures. And guess what? You have to just accept it. That is a part of growing. That is a part of living. I think one of the important things that I remember that really kind of made this into progress, made me think about this was like, if you're playing on a football team and you're on the offense and there's no defense and you go ahead and score a touchdown, everybody's like, oh yeah, that'd be so great. But did you really score a touchdown? It's like, if you had no objection, if you had nothing else going against you, did you really score? And you know, it's a thought provoking question, but the purpose that I want you to kind of think about this is what makes that touchdown important. What makes that touchdown helpful? The offense had to overcome the defense. So that's how you're going to get better. That is how you're going to learn is overcoming struggles, objections, and failures. So just understand that is a part of the learning process. That is a part of life. And guess what? I don't care how old you are. I don't care how rich you are. There's one thing that I remember someone said what life is. Life is just about overcoming struggles and overcoming things. And it doesn't matter where you are in your life. Once you get over some certain struggles or accomplishments, you have a new set of struggles and accomplishments. So it's never going to go away. I think the more successful you can be is the better you get at being able to adapt and overcome them. But make sure you're putting things into perspective, which I'm going to talk about here a little bit later in the video. One thing that I think that comes up too as well is to overcome things, you got to take those little steps. What I want you to focus on is not trying to tackle getting an A always at the beginning or always feeling like, especially when you have these failures, just remember it's little steps, okay? Just try to make consistent progress. Sometimes when I tell people I've recorded 12,000 videos on YouTube, they're like, what? How did you do that? How is that even possible? I can't even upload three videos a week and I go crazy. Like, how could you have possibly done 12,000 videos? And it's true. I have personally uploaded every single video on my channel. How did I do it? Well, I was very consistent and I continuously do it. I upload, at least now, still every single day. And actually with shorts, now I'm uploading two videos a day. I am consistent and I've been doing this since 2010. And you might be like, Miss McGlogan, you're crazy. That might be a good point, right? But I feel like making small progress each and every day is important for anything that you want to be able to accomplish. Just don't think that oh, I have to get an A, everything has to be an A. No, there's going to be those ups, there's going to be those downs. But if you know what you are trying to achieve, keep on making little, little practice or little, little progress every single day. And guess what? You will be able to achieve what you need to achieve. Don't let things derail you. Just keep on moving forward. Consistent steps, consistent progress is going to be where you're going to get there. Now, the next thing that I want you to do is when you're making that little progress or you're going to have struggles, you're going to have failures is look for the opportunities. There's opportunities everywhere. Every single time you turn the corner, you open the door, all these analogies, 
there are opportunities for you to take advantage of. And I think sometimes it's hard for us to see those opportunities unless we're looking back, right? We're like, oh man, if I would have gone to that study session or if I would have taken advantage of the retakes or the corrections, or if I would have stayed after school or gone to the tutor lab, that would have been my opportunity where I could have learned this or had a better understanding that or improved my grade. If I would have you know, done this test correction, then that would have been all the grade I needed to be able to get the A that I wanted. There's opportunities every single day. And a lot of times we just get so into our mindset of focusing on other things that we don't look for the opportunities that are in front of us. But more importantly about the opportunities that are in front of us is make sure you're prepared for those opportunities. The best thing I always remember when I was a kid, I would envision being a baseball player and like swinging a bat, bottom of the ninth, bases loaded, World Series, game seven, and three balls, two strikes, here comes the pitch, what are you gonna do? Of course you're gonna hit the grand slam, you envision that, right? But again, just take yourself now and put yourself in that position. Would I be ready to take advantage of that opportunity right now? Heck no. I haven't played baseball in years, right? It's not something I have practiced or I'm prepared for at all. And the same thing that comes up, guys, I, I would have times where I would give a test, everybody would bomb. And I'd be like, guys, I don't do like retakes, you know, on tests. But then everybody literally bombed the test. And so next day on Monday, hey, I know this is what I usually say, but guess what? I'm gonna give everybody an opportunity today to retake it. Well, if student was prepared, and they took their test and maybe studied it from what they did wrong and like fixed all their corrections, then if they got that retake, that opportunity, they were ready for that opportunity and they were gonna nail it. So opportunities, sometimes you don't know when they are. They don't know when they're gonna come. Sometimes they're not as visible, but make sure you are prepared. Get yourself planned, get yourself prepared, get yourself organized and ready to take advantage of opportunities when they come. Because again, sometimes opportunities come and go and they never come back. So you're gonna wanna make sure you seize the opportunity, as I should say. The next thing that I think is really, really important for you to understand about becoming unstoppable is keeping things in perspective. As I mentioned, you're gonna have struggles, you're gonna have failures, right? Put things into perspective of what they really mean. Be thankful for where you have, what you have achieved up to this point. I know everybody wants an A, I get it. But sometimes if you put in a lot of work and you get a B, a B cannot be bad. Sometimes even a C, guys, is an accomplishment. All right, put things into perspective. If nobody in the class, it's a really, really hard course, really, really hard instructor, professor, and you have a C and that's the top grade, put things into perspective. You had the highest grade in the whole class, even though it might be a C, but you just beat out everybody in your class. Or I remember sometimes I got grades that were higher than I knew students. I just knew mathematically they were way more superior than I was, but I know I worked really hard. And even though I didn't get the grade I wanted, I put things in perspective. I worked really, really hard and I got a better grade than I know that these students who are much smarter than me, but I knew I like worked harder and I earned that grade. And I was happy for that. I was grateful for that. Just put things in perspective in that way. Be thankful, have some gratitude from where you're at, what you've been given. And I think also the other thing is a lot of times we like to dwell or think things are so insurmountable where we're at, which makes sense, right? That's the present. But if you think about what your struggles, what your frustrations were last year, five years ago, 10 years ago, you're like, oh man, I remember I thought my world was coming crashing down. You can see you've always had struggles and you overcame them and you kept them moving forward. I know you're going to have struggles. You're going to have frustrations this coming year. Keep them in perspective though and have some gratitude. And that is gonna help you to keep moving forward. The next thing, which is probably the most important, that's why I'm leaving at the end, is to take care of yourself. Because we start in the school year, we have all these high goals, aspirations. We wanna work really, really hard. One that's very, very guilty of that. I just wanna constantly be working, constantly be improving, constantly adjusting. But the thing is, you only have one you. And you only have one opportunity to go through high school, to go through college, to go through middle school. Enjoy it, take a step back, take a breath. Don't try to overload your plate. And again, that's constantly what I'm always doing. If there's any blank space, I always want to fill it up. So it's hard for me to say to do this, but I know it's something that is very, very beneficial because when I've done it for myself, I've realized the benefits that I get to stop, breathe, take a walk. Maybe don't take all the AP classes that you could possibly take. Be happy. Sometimes we'll see. Focus on some, maybe you have some other classes. Spend some time with friends. I remember there was that great Valley Victorian speech where they're like, hey, I'm the smartest kid in the class, but guess what? I don't have the relationships that you guys have. And I have regrets about that. And I think that's really important because grades are important. Having an education is extremely important, but don't lose sight of all the other opportunities and benefits that going through a school year can bring to you. So have perspective on that and take care of yourself. I think that's extremely important, but I can tell you if you follow these six tips throughout this year, you will be unstoppable. So hopefully that was helpful for